Today we're going to unbox the KNF Concept ND2 to 32 filter. This is the KNF Concept ND2 to 32 filter. I bought it on AliExpress for 35 US dollars. If you want to buy the same ND filter on Amazon, you'll have to pay 60 dollars, which is quite a big price difference to the price on AliExpress. But still, I'm going to leave links down below in the description if you want to buy it from Amazon or AliExpress. According to KNF Concept, this ND filter does not show any export in the middle of your lens or shots while using this ND filter, unlike some other cheap ND filters on the market. Let's open up the box, mount it on my lens and see if that is true. And this is the ND filter. Look at this, it's so beautiful, this green color. First thing that I like about this ND filter already, it's not continuous while you're spinning it. So it's locking here, and then you're locking here. I hope you can hear the clicks. Click and click. So you can even use it without looking at it. So you know, now it's closed, now it's open completely. You also have indications, minimum, this is probably completely open, and you have maximum, which is completely closed. This is probably all the stops of this ND filter. Build quality is very good, a lot of metal. Glass quality seems good as well for the price, I mean, I can't really tell you how good is the glass quality. I'm gonna have to test it out soon. But the build quality feels pretty solid. And also you get this case to carry it on the go if you want to. It's kind of bulky, yes. But it is still here. You can put the filter in here, close it, and then put it in your bag. Okay, so now let's go outside, mount this ND filter on my Sigma 18-35 and do a couple of test shots, see if there is any export while you're shooting with this ND filter, see how the quality is, and so on and so forth. Let's go outside and test it out. All right, so I am outside. It's very, very bright as you can see. The sun is just on my face, so this is the brightest situation you can ever film in. I'm filming at f16 ISO 100 and shutter speed 1 over 50. Now, if I want to lower down my aperture, to f1.8, this is what's going to happen. So right now I am at f1.8 and you basically can't even see me, maybe just a little bit, just a pinch. So I'm gonna put it back to f16, just like so. And now let's mount this ND filter and see how that is going to help and see also if this ND filter uh, has the export in the middle of the footage or not. So I am still at f16, let's dial it down to f1.8. Now I am at f1.8, the ND filter is completely open and now it's completely closed. So as you can see, no exports in the middle of the footage. Awesome, awesome, just like KNF Concept claimed. My previous ND filter had this export, just black, exports in the middle of the shot and it was very very annoying and basically unusable so with this one you have like a lock in here a lock in here and it works very good but from what i can see right now on the screen this situation is actually way too bright for this nd filter so if i want to film in this kind of a situation i will need much more powerful nd filter but to be honest i will never film in this kind of a situation where I'm just out in the sun and the sun is just blazing on my face without any shade, without nothing. So if you need to film in this kind of situations every single day, this ND filter is not for you. But if you, let's say, for example, going to film yourself in here, which is bright as well, now it's completely open. I'm just gonna close it just a little bit. Let me see. Just like so. So now, as you can see, the shot is properly exposed. It's not overexposed. You don't have this export in the middle. 
and it's perfect. Well, I am actually pretty impressed with the quality of this ND filter. For 35 US dollars, you get no export in the middle of your shots, in the middle of your lens, and also the build quality is pretty impressive. I'm going to use this ND filter for about a month, and then I'll make an update video and let you know if it's still worth it or not. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>